Delighted to be joined this week here in Sharkies by Alex Lynch, who's backed by popular demand. He was here last year on the football panel, and Conor O'Leary, who's making his debut here in, in Sharkies on the Wexford GA TV previews. And this weekend, it's the turn of the quarterfinals, and the first one we're going to discuss is St. Martin's against Crossbeg Ballymurn. And Alex, he had a, a good victory over St. Martin's. Um, unfortunately for E, it wasn't enough in the end to qualify, but yeah. what did you make of their challenge? Uh, look, at Martins are always a good side. Uh, there's a lot being talked about them this year uh, as serious contenders for the senior hurling. Um, we got a good win over them yesterday. We we fought hard. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to get us through to a quarter final in the end. But there was at stages during the game where they were on top. They hit a purple patch in the second half. They got a goal. The great players and the likes of Rory O'Connor, Jack O'Connor, Joe Coleman on freeze, even in their backs, Joe Barrett, Joe O'Connor. Um, Look at their, they're, they're a very good side, and um, it could have been a, a bit of a blessing for them that, that lost to the Harriers the other day. That could be the kick up the backside that they need to go into the, the quarter final. Um, so it, it might do them the world good, in my opinion. And in terms of no doubt, you went out the other day with a plan, and the teams that are playing in the next cross the bag will no doubt have to go out with a plan. What was your plan to try and curtail? The best of the Martins? Uh, well, in a way, most of our plan was to just go out and, and hurl our game. Um, I know you can get into the tactics of matchups and playing with a sweeper and all of this, but we just felt that we were in a position where we, we were in a position to get through to a quarter final. Things went against us in the end, but we actually thought just let the shackles off, go out and hurl. And I think that was the key message that we actually went out with. It wasn't anything to do with, you know, going into puck outs or going into man marking or anything like that. We just went out and we hurled, and I actually thought. When we let loose, that's what got us the victory in the end, you know. And Connor, you played cross the bag way back in round one, and what did you think of them? Yeah, um, they're a seriously hard working team. Um, I know I was very sore for two or three days after playing them. They're um, they're well set up, and I think even from round one, I think after round one, you know, Paddy Foley started, played most of the game centre forward against us, but I think he looked more in the following rounds back in his normal position there in the pocket in centre back or playing as the ex the sweeper but um no um Ballamore they're a seriously seriously hard working team and up front they have some really good forwards in Brody Murphy inside is a live wire the Ushin Foley who you know he had a real good battle with Owen Moore and there was 50-50 balls that came in that Owen maybe could have maybe come out the better but the bounce of the ball even that was in it went in Ushin's favour and he scored 2-1 and he won a couple of frees but um, look we were in a win, win position with 10 minutes to go we were 5 points up and we were disappointed we didn't win the game but it was testament to Balmoran they never stopped going and in probably a 4 or 5 minute period they scored 1-3 to go a point up and we needed a point to level the game on the even so look at it was kind of mixed emotions we were probably maybe should have saw the game out but at the same time Ballamorn stayed at it till the final whistle and no doubt that the Martins will be in for a tough game uh, the weekend uh, again Ballamorn. And just your, your thought before I go to Alex for his thoughts on Cross the Bay, your thoughts on the Martins then obviously you've played them in plenty of good battles over the years uh, your thoughts on them this year and, and, and last year obviously with their good run? Yeah, I actually seen them a couple of weeks ago again all gate and uh, it was very even the first half um, but I think for probably 10 or 15 minutes the Martins cut loose and they played with a proper intensity and aggression in their play and they shot some great points and you know, I think they scored 126 and in probably a 10 or 15 minute period the game was effectively over so the Martins are capable of doing that you know I think back in 2017 probably they took the game away from us in probably a 10 minute spell we were it was a very tight game and we had a good few wides but I think the Martins in probably 10-15 minutes they just kicked on and they took the game away from us and they're they're capable of doing that to any side in Wexford I think they done it to Gorey as well in the second half Gorey yeah. came back at them and the Martins just kicked on for maybe five ten minute period and they're they are capable of blowing the team away in a short period of time and um, so it's probably something for Balamore to be wary of going into the weekend and your thoughts then on cross the bag Alex before we get predictions yeah look at they're deservedly in the quarter final place. Um, I think the highlight of the year for them was that win over the Shelmalayers. They proved it, you know, against their 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 near neighbours, their their rivals that 
they were up for the challenge and they were they were the better team on the day. So look, I know them from football as well, and Connor summed it up. They're a very hard working team. It's one thing I will give them, uh, and it's great quality to have. Um, but I just think if I was to give a my verdict on the game, it'd be the Martins. Um, I just think they have that bit more firepower all over, and uh, they have the experience, and I just think they have the quality to produce. So there might not. Yeah, I'm going to go with Alex. I'm going to tip the Martins, but I think when they walk off the field um, the weekend, they'll know they're after being in the game again, Ballymurn, but I do think they'll win the game. Yeah, I'm going to make it a full house as well and, and tip St. Martins, but I think maybe lots of people have underestimated Cross the and they've put up some very good performances throughout the championship, so I expect it to be a reasonably close game, but St. Martins might just have a bit more quality over the field, I think.